What is up guys? It is Lucid Jackal and we are here for Final Fantasy Adventure, Secret of Mana, Zero, however you want to call it, the prequel, the great prequel. So um last time we got Bogart here. Ooh, he's he's a legit knight. Okay. Ooh, ow. And uh we gotta find some airship and Get Valk back, because she is always getting kidnapped. I think they said it was north. And we also got uh, this week's episode of BoJack. I am. My nose is killing me today, guys. Ah! Ooh. That was some expertise dodging. Nothing finer. This is probably where I'm going to have to go. I should not have unequipped the Batol Axe. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna hit off Bojack actually. Ooh, I can block that with my shield. I didn't think I could. Now we know. But we're actually gonna hit this episode of Bojack today as early as we can. This week's episode, season one, episode ten. Honestly, there's not really like a whole lot to talk about with this episode. Um, everything was kind of just setting up. What feels like we're getting next with Bojack having now fired Diane, which is, I mean, we'll see, especially with the episode being, ooh, Silver Helmet, gimme gimme, but especially with Diane having now leaked some of the work to BuzzFeed, which is exactly what Bojack wanted. That's actually a saying that my dad taught me from when he was in the Navy. And it went something like, you know, there's two people you don't fuck with. You don't fuck with your barber, you don't fuck with your cook. That hurts me. That's what the gold does. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay, you sell the gold for money. Son of a bitch. Okay, do we have anything? Let's get rid of these wisdoms. I don't need them. Let me lighten up my load real quick as quick, uh, as, quick as we can. You know what? Let's get an ether. I haven't needed one. How many keys do we got? How many Matox do we got real quick before we continue on? Six keys. Fourteen Matox. We'll buy some keys. I don't think I'll need them. But can't hurt me to have them. But yeah, no, this is the saying that I was talking about from my dad. You don't fuck with your barber and you don't fuck with your cook. Which, you know, the obvious and natural extension to that with, you know, the show being... Ba -da -ba -ba. Um, the obvious comparison to that within the show being... Um, Diane knows basically all the dirty on what Bojack's been up to lately. And though I think she is correct and it's it's going to garner attention probably both positive and negative for the book, it'll at least get him in the public eye again. Since I mean there's a literally he's called a Ryan Seacrest type guy or type character. I don't know how we like what the word they use at the end. But they even 
joke around about that, that like, he's being interviewed, we'll just say Ryan Seacrest. And he was like, oh, everybody thought you were dead. What have you been up to? Because, you know, like I said, everybody thought you were dead. Come on, stab him, Bogart, let's go. Oh my god, I'm, I apologize on this nose. Unfortunately, I am not able to pause anymore because the program is still acting up when I pause. When you pause it, it continues to stutter. I know in one of the other videos I tried it out, I was like, oh, let's see if it happens at the end, and I took some time out and paused the video, and sure enough. Oh! Wait a minute. Oh no, I was gonna say, wait, does it go as far as the the charge bar is? But no, you can go everywhere on the screen. That's That would be ridiculous. Like, you can move. Like, I can move over here, so obviously it wouldn't be how long the bar is. Okay, ooh. I could have just killed them. I'm gonna assume they die the same way in this game as they do in, uh... Secret of Mana by Magic Attacks. Ouch. Exactly. So let's see. Melt like butter. But yeah, no, back to Bojack real quick. Um, yeah, other than now Bojack being in the public light in a very negative way. There's not really much to talk about, like... Like, plot-wise. It was a pretty... It was a whole episode. I mean, obviously, if you're listening to this, you've already seen it. But, you know, the... The, the whole episode was just the TV, or the movie, that they're making about the D getting stolen, and everybody's still calling it Hollywood. But Bojack is actually playing Mr. Peanut Butter in the movie, which... Makes for some funny dialogue, but nothing really comes of that. Diane does say something really interesting in the episode, though. Um, there's an actress, obviously, playing Diane in this story. Oop, here we are. Uh, there's obviously an actress playing Diane, and, you know, she asks about the the marriage to Mr. Peanut Butter. And she was like, so you know, like, was it was it like the happiest day of your life? Or like something along those lines. And you know, Diane says, you know, oh, I'm trying not to sneeze. Don't sneeze. Oh, don't sneeze, don't sneeze. Oh, disgusting. Really disgusting. Um. Okay, that just went on a circle. Come on, you just stab at the air. Hit the guy. Oh my god, finally. Well, you are awful. I'm still trying not to sneeze. But she talks about, you know, you know, asking if that was the happiest day of her life. And she's like, yeah, you know, but then there's... There's the day after the happiest day of your life. And the day after that, and the day after that. And I think that is, um, and I think Bojack is this kind of person. I don't think we've seen anything with him yet that's done this, but I'm definitely going to make a prediction that this is going to be him. Um, because he has been so infatuated with the fact that this book is coming out. And it's like the... He's treating it like when that book comes out, it's going to be the happiest day of his life. Which I think is why, and I'll get to this in a second, um, why he didn't like what Diane had to say in the book. Um, I'll expand about that maybe a little bit more. Um, 
but he's treating this like this is going to be like the next, like the best thing ever for him right now. And there's going to be after the book comes out, and even longer after the book comes out, he falls out of the public eye again. You know, there's always like, and we all know people like this who live live for like the next best thing in their life like they're always searching for it. like it's not like there's something that they're working towards and they would look at it as just another accomplishment it's um it's more like they're really hinging on that being the thing that changes something and that's cool but like what happens after that like I'll use this as an example I, I lost my virginity when I was 15. Now, when you're a kid, when you're young, or anybody who's like not asexual at least, or the rest of us who are all horny teenagers, um, I don't know, but like, it seems like, and I know a lot of people feel the same way, like, you really look forward to like, oh man, I'm gonna lose my virginity when you know it's happening, you're like, I'm gonna lose it. You lose it, and then like, you sit there. Like, then that's it. It's over. It's done with. And like, though it might be cool, you might get a little bit of bragging right there. <laughs> like, once it's done, it's done. It's over. There's nothing. There's after that. So like, what next? People who live like infatuated with like the next thing that they're trying to do as if that's going to like change everything. It will. For right then and there. And then after that happens. Like, whatever happens, the dust settles, and then so after that, Diane, she got married. You know, big party, celebration, friends, family, maybe family with Diane, maybe. Um, big wahoo. And then there's after the big wahoo, when everything's done and over with. You know, at this point in the story, it's, they said it's been a couple months, a few months. It's been like two to six months. I can't remember how long it's been. Since the wedding. So like. There's that. There's after. It's all done. So. I think that's just the big thing. Is just making sure that like. Working towards goals organically. And like. Setting goals for yourself. Is always great. But it's. Not something that you want to hinge like. Like hinge your like. Hopes and dreams on like solving all your problems or like making everything that's possibly going wrong in your life better because that's usually not the case so there's not really much else to talk about with this episode it just it ends with Bojack firing Diane uh, she writes honestly about him she wants you know the world to see him for what he is which is honestly like yeah he's a piece of shit but it's also like complex like she seems to note that, like, there's something deeper, which we kind of know there is, too. Like, nobody turns out this way, like, for no reason. I know at some point they're going to go into his backstory. They have to. And I think we're going we're gonna to get, like, revealed some things about him. Because, I mean, you know, we've been flashing, not flashing back, but Diane's talked about her childhood a little bit. So, like, we, we've dug in. Like, she makes a comment about, like, she made a comment about, like, getting, like, shoved into lockers and shit. I don't remember if it was this last episode or the one before. But, like, it started, like, digging at, like, people's past. And I'm waiting for them to do that with Bojack. Because I'd be interested in seeing what his childhood was like. To kind of see how his trajectory got him to the way he is. To where, like, now he's always this desperate for the next big thing. It's going to change all the negativity in his life. Because as it's revealed, he's 50. I don't think they've said his age before. So, we'll see. A girl is being held in a room in this airship. Sweet. But that's really it. There's not much, there's not much else to talk about. I do want to get better at uh, talking and moving. But... Oh, these guys. Oh, they're a fan favorite from the original. 
Oof. I wonder if they Moogle you in this game. Do I have fire set up? No, let me... See, this is why I got a uh, an ether. Ooh. Oh my goodness, and I get another one. But a pa pow I struck you. Motherfucker. Telling me to get back to work. Now I'm done talking about Bojack. My boss did that shit to me today, actually. Usually I don't use these videos to rant about my life, but I'm kinda busy today, so I gotta kinda cut the video short, so. Just being able to talk about Bojack and just sit still for a minute, keep my mind on track, help me get everything done in a better amount of time. Usually I have like a half hour to be able to like rant. Be gone. Sweet. What does this do? What does this button do? Cool. But you know, my boss did that today. I was... I, uh... Towards the end of the day, you get like a lot of... Julius is taking... The ch... Julius is taking the charge of this airship. Yes. That is how that sentence is spoken. Wow! Wowie, wow, wow, wow. Owie. Okay, so don't hit spikes. Do not hit spikes at all. All right. <coughs> oh, can I sleep in this bed? I guess I didn't need to. Nope. Cannot. But I gotta level up. So, huge problem solved. Alright, so these probably lead to around the same area. So I gotta have a key regardless. Oh, that, that, that sound, I was like, what the fuck? Um, Val, hurry, it's moving! Oh wait, no, that's Bogart. Hurry, it's moving. Whatever. This door is locked. How about the windows? Motherfucker, what windows? It may get you. I'll get you from the outside. What the fuck? I'll stay in guard, Valk. Okay, he's gonna die. Alright. Slick dodge. Slick. Slick dodge. But no, at the end of our day, we get a whole bunch of stuff that's kind of left over. Stuff that was, you know, missorted. That we couldn't send back to the sort the main sorting area. And, uh... I was getting all of it together. And all of a sudden, my boss just, like yells at me, kind of like stops me from what I'm doing. He's like, hey, hurry up and walk all that stuff off. As I like got like stuff in my arms to put on it. I was ready to kick him in his gooch. Dark Lord found a baby at the cave. <laughs> oh, he found Julius as a wee bab. As un bebe. All right.
All right. I guess I didn't need to buy ethers if they were going to be this fucking... They're going to be this... Uh... What's the word? Plentiful? Yes. Wow. Alright, never mind, this game wants me to really use my... This game really wants me to use fucking ethers and shit. Okay, alright, well. I mean, sure, then I gotta, like, unequip and re-equip shit, but, you know. Still, if you're gonna give me this... So many ethers, Jesus Christ. I was not expecting such a cornucopia of ethers. How do I get to wherever I gotta go on this airship? Oh, Jesus Christ. Just destroy them. Destroy them all! Where's... Where's Valk at? And Bogard's gonna die. I think he dies. Keep this pendant, Jackal. Give me the pendant. Oh boy. Oh god damn it. <laughs> wow, somebody came down from the sky. Do you know him? What? I'm glad to see you again, my friend. I came back from Glaive after you left. Oh, I remember this chick. Alright, well, I I had Valk, and then I lost Valk. So that's how that goes. Next time, uh, we're going to see where we have crash-landed. Through whom's roof we have broken through it. So uh, next time, I'm actually really excited to see where this uh, next episode of BoJack goes. I'm ready to play more of this game next week. I love this game. This has been a lot of fun. I love this shit. So, for you guys, peace out. See you guys in a... Well, see you whenever. Peace.